Welcome to part two of this series on Google AdWords tutorial tips and tricks. This is br being brought to you by Cash Data Consulting LLC based in Dallas, Texas. We are experts in SEO, Google AdWords, AdSense, and L Analytics. Uh, also, currently, we are offering $100 Google AdWords credit for the next 30 days. And feel free to call us for more information at info at datatechnologyllc.com. Last time, basically, we had started by reviewing a site, www.learningsqlserver2008.com. We also went over an existing Google AdWords campaign that we have. So today's agenda is to actually first switch to PowerPoint. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, last time I had just put this together on the fly and today I actually uh, ended up putting a little more thought and effort into it. So uh, like I mentioned, uh, you know, this is me, Cash Mughal from Data Technology LLC. Uh, as for as today's agenda, we are going to uh, let me see if this thing uh, switches over here. Uh, we will review from last time, which uh, which we we did. Next, we will explain uh, some of these Google AdWords key terms more in detail. Next, we will look at the Google AdWords architecture. Then uh, we will uh, pretty much start things from scratch by creating a new campaign, and then uh, creating a new ad group, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that uh, is what we are going to cover. As for some of the key terms that you should know, there are quite a few of them out there, but I will uh, simply highlight the important ones. So the first one is a campaign, okay? This is really an advertising subject or a product that uh, you will focus on. So uh, maybe, you know, you are uh, in the insurance industry maybe a campaign could be on uh, home insurance that would be essentially a line of product that you sell the next step is uh, advertising group which would be essentially a line of product or service within within your essentially um, main campaign the next thing is the actual ad this will be um, you know the advertising that you will use to market your product or service in Google AdWords next is keywords these are the terms that are being searched on by the end users namely visitors online and you're trying to uh, match you know your services and terms with these keywords so they can uh, see your ad and click on it and land on your website that really is the uh, bottom line next thing is the uh, clicks these are, are the actual number of times your ad is clicked on either Google search network or their partner network uh, IMPR which stands for an, a number of really total ad impressions that are shown uh, so every time you know a keyword triggers your ad and it's uh, shown to a potential visitor or customer those are the impressions CPC that stands for cost per click this is really the amount of uh, money that Google charges you uh, per click per ad uh, next item is CTR very important it stands for click-through rate uh, essentially it is computed by dividing the number of clicks by the impression of ads that are being shown uh, another uh, important factor is the match type. This comes into play when we get to the part, uh, you know, where we set up the keywords. There are three types: broad, phrase, and exact. And we will look at this more in detail later. Then we have the quality score. This has to do with essentially the quality of the keyword you choose in its relationship to the ad the CTR and the landing page. So quite a few terms to throw at you. We will uh, definitely uh, you know, get into some of these as we go along through our uh, tutorial series. The next item uh, I put together is basically uh, Google AdWords hierarchy or architecture of how everything works so like I mentioned you know at the top level you have a campaign uh, if you are an insurance company uh, you could potentially you know start a campaign on that within that you will uh, break it down into uh, ad groups this could possibly be you know auto insurance 
or home insurance and in our case here looks like we are focusing on auto so you could create uh, multiple uh, groups essentially on the same uh, line of product or service now under the ad group you are going to create one or more ads uh, some people think that you only have to create one ad per ad group that is not true in fact you should create multiple ads within an ad group so that Google can test them out and depending on which ad is doing better in terms of uh, click-through ratio that's the ad you really want to keep in your campaign okay so for example again we are focusing on uh, car insurance so uh, you know we will create uh, if we, if you we were setting up this campaign for an insurance company we would create an ad on car, car insurance and then we would create a second ad uh, for you know for car insurance basically tied to the same same ad group so at this point I'm really I'm really focusing on my ad group number one I'm I'm not even uh, looking at these and and then the low, lowest level of this hierarchy is obviously the keywords which uh, you know which are the driving factor uh, in in uh, in the big scheme of things and so a potential keyword in our case could be uh, cheap car insurance so what that means is that when somebody goes to Google and types that in uh, you want your ad to show up uh, you know preferably on the first page uh, maybe you know second or third so when they click on it they end up at your site and if uh, if your product looks good they will go ahead and contact you or make a purchase so uh, I think that's that's essentially what I have uh, next thing I want to do is uh, really jump into um, Google AdWords um, last time if you did not join us we basically started looking at this site called learning SQL server 2008.com uh, like I mentioned it is a website that our company owns we provide video training and uh, simulation on this uh, database product from Microsoft and uh, we are essentially running a AdWords campaign on this so let me go to Google and I'm going to go ahead and type in AdWords dot google dot com and uh, go, uh, if you haven't signed up you can uh, certainly do that by clicking on start now I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and uh, it takes me to the home page uh, we will basically be focusing on the campaigns tab so let's go ahead and do that and currently we only have uh, one active campaign that we are running that is highlighted in here um, real quickly uh, here's the name of the campaign our budget the status is eligible means it's running we have had 16 clicks out of uh, total uh, 824 in impressions this gives us a click through rate of 2% which is not too bad our average cost per click has been around $1.82 uh, we have done one conversion and so uh, our cost per conversion is 2908 okay um, so the first thing I need to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a new campaign and uh, what you can uh, you know do for this is uh, I'm, let me see I think I can yeah I can start here right in the middle it says new campaign and I'm going to essentially uh, create another one uh, for the same stuff and then uh, you know we will we will leave our existing campaign running but I'm basically going to show you how to create this from scratch so you you give it a name that is in line with your product or service next I uh, you know you definitely should sell uh, select the location you're selling in so let's say you are a um, salon in Dallas Fort Worth area uh, it does not make sense for you to you know start showing the ads to Canada or Europe or some other place uh, in, in our case uh, we have selected uh, United States and Canada if you wanted to change this you could click here select one or more other locations this will bring up uh, basically sort of like an app within Google AdWords where you can select your countries and you can definitely you know drill down uh, even further 
you can uh, you can go uh, you know you can browse them you could even search for a certain area or you could even customize it uh, you know by zip code or something like that so that's my zip code so let me see if I can uh, put that in and see it just kind of focuses on that so um, this is definitely useful uh, you know if, if you are basically selling in this area it does not uh, make sense for you to show ads outside of this circle essentially I'm going to go ahead and go back to this and uh, leave these two selected and I do want to add Western Europe to my list of countries that I want to show the ad in so uh, basically those are the two areas I've highlighted and I will go ahead and click Save so here uh, if you scroll up and down you can see that our ads will be showing shown in this country next it's it's asking you well you know based on these locations you want to target pages uh, in these languages I'm actually going to go ahead and leave English as our default uh, and one of the main reasons is because our website where the end users will get to is everything is is all in English so you know it does not make sense to uh, pick some of these other languages I will leave that as is next we move on to uh, the networks and devices this is definitely an important uh, concept and I will kind of explain this as as I go along really for the network you have two choices okay you have the Google search network which uh, you know anytime you're searching on uh, let's say I'm going to type in google.com and when you start searching here this is considered the Google search network okay now they also do have another uh, one called the display network and this could be you know some of the partner sites that uh, you know have uh, you know alliance with Google I guess and you know they may show ads uh, your ads as well um, in research what we're finding is that it's just better to stick with Google search so I'm going to go ahead and disable this uh, what that is going to do is basically limit our our uh, ads to Google which is uh, which is fine because we have sh we have seen better click-through ratio if we just do that part now as for as devices these are different um, devices that you can show your ads on once again maybe you know if you are focusing on the mobile market you may want to uncheck this and you can even you know drill down into uh, basically a host of different options and whatnot uh, for our case we are going to go ahead and leave uh, both these options checked okay and then uh, moving on to the important part which is the budget this is where you will set you know what kind of uh, budget uh, are you working with if you're a small shop you may want to uh, you know set this to uh, basically five dollars per day what that means is that after Google is showing your ads when they get to that five dollar mark they will essentially stop displaying your ads and then um, you also have the option of doing an automatic bidding thank you for watching the sample video